Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV housing with me, Mioni. Today, we're looking at the Allegan themed housing items that can be acquired as part of drops from the new Accursed Horde in the Deep Dungeon Eureka Orthos added in 6.35. We've looked at how to go to the spoils thing in the previous videos, but yes, you can get them from the bronze uh, sacks, which are floors 1 for 30. Uh, specifically so if you're want wanting to know yes it's just simply rng from the accursed horde itself uh, these two new items then we've got both of these today i picked these up off a market board because my rng was terrible although i did attempt to get them uh, we've got the allegan terminal alpha and the allegan terminal beta so the alpha says an n-shaped device created to access ancient Allegan systems. Though no longer functional, the light-up display is still hauntingly beautiful. And the L-shaped device created to access ancient Allegan systems, no longer functional, light-up display is still haunting, hauntingly beautiful. So these items currently are, I would say, on the rarer side of items. Usually when you do the Deep Dungeon, the Accursed Horde, you just get fireworks, some old barding, maybe some outfits from like Stormblood era, things like that. Uh, even some stuff from Shadowbringers, actually. Um, like there's the Emerald barding and Ruby barding and things like that we've seen recently. Let's actually put away items from last time, uh, such as that chair, and we'll put down these new items so the Alican terminals they're wall mounted now there's nothing stopping us from using the float glitch and putting them in the middle of the room which is what we're going to do in just a moment so let's put the n-shaped one down first so this is what that looks like so they're intended to go on the wall and then next to it we'll put the l-shaped one so we've got nl now the l-shaped one is much bigger and you'll find that on the market board, that is reflective in the price. People are selling the L-shaped one currently on my server for just around 1 million gil. And the N-shaped one, which is half the size, for about 750,000. So bear that in mind. The L-shaped one, much bigger. Now, the difference between them, obviously, other than their inerrant shape, is the, um, you know, on the amount of glow. It's very different, uh, you know, very minimal, but there are some differences. Now, the other difference, obviously, is is there is uh, like a much more 3D platform on this one than a more flat sort of silhouette on that one. So it acts almost like a shelf, like a panel. So people who RP and want to create their house uh, in a style of an elegant spaceship or an elegant uh, situation, you could totally do that now. Um, a lot of people have been waiting for the longest time for this to become a possibility. There really isn't that many Allegan related items in the game. There are a couple of chairs, a table, and a couple of the bits and pieces, but it's not really enough decorative items. Uh, I think this fills the gap. Now, as for diability, I don't believe these are diable. No, they are not. So there's no furnishing dies on these, as you can imagine, but they are really nice, aren't they? So one of the other things I wanted to show is what the reverse side of this looks like. To do so, and to, just to explain further, um, because people, I don't know, I still get questions about this. There is a series of glitches that you can naturally do in the game, right? That are not game-breaking in any way, shape, or form. They've been here for since housing existed, and quite honestly, uh, they're not going anywhere. But they're so easy to do. It's just a placement glitch just to float these in midair. So what we're going to do is grab that one. We're going to place that there. And we're going to place the beta one next to it like that. Any partition will do. And we're going to toggle off the counter surface placement. We're going to click on that target. We're then going to move our mouse off. And then we're going to right click. It'll snap back. And the same with the L shape. And then we grab the partition move it away and just like that as if by magic there we go and uh we'll um we'll store that in our storeroom so as you can see that's how easy it is to float any wall item in the game and you can apply that to anything that can go on shelves as well tabletop items but yeah this video isn't a, like, a glitch um sort of showcase it's to look at these items i think they're fantastic and the rear side of them then uh, obviously we're not going to have those spherical glows because on the rear side which you're not, I guess, supposed to see all the time. Uh, we have like these indentations, which could be useful. Um, the quality isn't any less good on the back. The neon lit up sections are still the same. Just we have these exposed 
uh, dark circles where the lights would be right, ordinarily. Yeah, really cool stuff. And of course, you know, Allegan Tech, it doesn't necessarily always stick to surfaces. There is a bit of mysticism in it. So floating stuff like this, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? One of the other interesting factors about this that I nearly forgot to mention, uh, but we're obviously going to include that information, is that they do actually have an interaction associated with them. They're not just solid items. So the thing that makes them even more exciting is that if you click on them, they actually have their own light up panels. How cool is that? So yes, what's the floating here? But it really does look like we're living in a simulation or something. I've just ac accessed like a holodeck or something. That's what the, the N-shaped one looks like. All glowy. Look at those statistics and things. Look, it's so cool. And then we can turn it off by clicking on it. And the L-shaped one is just the same. Only we have much larger panels of a different size. So obviously you'd want to get one of each, right? Or many of these. And, and just like, oh, you can have your own little computerized setup with monitors and from the back of these since we're um obviously hovering them here with the placement glitch yeah they're even visible from the back as well so it's not like one of those 2d textures that you can only see from one direction it's really cool isn't it really really cool i'm quite happy with these but yeah let me know what you think about them also here's a really great shot i thought i'd include of um of them in zero lighting conditions in a house so if you want to see how powerful that luminosity is and indeed how powerful the light up animation is for the panels it's awesome look at that so good and there's the one for the n shaped as well it's so cool isn't it it really is they look awesome so you can have your own little elegant dungeon or whatever you're trying to create or even that cybernetic sort of... Oh, it's, it's so cool. The possibilities are endless for what you could do with these, aren't there? Absolutely awesome. Anyway, let me know what you think about these items. Personally, I think they're a great additions. And I cannot wait to see people stylized elegant sort of dungeons themselves. Maybe they're going to make their own uh, deep dungeon or part of, you know, the coils of Bahamut or something of their own making. Hopefully with less subjugation of dragons. There, that would be that would be ideal, wouldn't it? Anyway, <laughs> let me know what you think about these items. If you picked them up yet, if your RNG has been terrible like mine, and if you plan to go to the market board and pick these up when they're a little bit cheaper, I would give it a week, and more and more people will be reaching uh, much greater heights and uh, wiping and going through this stuff again and opening accursed hordes. So uh, give it a little bit of time and everything will come down in price. Much love. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy 6.35. Lots of videos to come. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.